Hey Aries, welcome to Shared Sensions. Thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate you. This is going to be your general mid-November reading. Um, there will be an extended to this over on Patreon. I'm going over general and I'm going over love, okay? So we're going to go ahead and get started here for you Aries, okay? So let's look at your main energy. Not sure if I said this already, but any information you all need, you can find it down in the description box. Your main obstacle. Uh -huh. Okay. Your main strength. What to know. New beginnings. And advice. A lot of cups here, okay? It looks super love-focused, I'm not gonna lie. Um, something else could come up, but it does It does look really love-focused to me um, at this point in time. Now, I will be doing the love portion right after this, and at the very end of the love portion, I'm gonna go over like each sign, like how does the Aries feel towards you, Aries? How does the Taurus feel? And I'll be going over their November actions as well if you guys wanna stick around for that, all right? But literally every card out here is cups. Now, this could just be something you have an emotional connection to, showing up for your your main energy is the chariot. You could definitely have some Virgo in your chart because they had this show up for their main energy as well, okay? But this is all about forward movement, all right? You got the death card on the bottom of the deck. So some of you, this could be from a Scorpio or a Cancer if this is a love situation where you're trying to move on, trying to move forward. But um, I do feel like there is a situation you're trying to get out of or leave, okay? Now, showing up for your main obstacle, you have the Two of Cups. So I feel like there is a relationship obstacle here. You could be having some trouble moving on from somebody. This could be a person who has Venus in Cancer, or you may have Venus in Cancer. However, you know, I do feel like you are struggling with a relationship in your life here. This could be romantic. It doesn't have to be, okay? Showing up for your main strength, though, is the Ace of Cups, okay? So it's like remembering that there is love here regardless. Like, there is love here regardless. You know, you have emotion. You have an emotional connection to this, whatever this is or whoever this is regardless so it's like there maybe you're not seeing eye to eye with someone about something here um in the remainder of november but it does feel like there's some tension between you and a person um it feels like it could involve a decision a big decision so some of you you could live with this person like you could be married to this person um but it affects them some kind of decision you're making affects them or some kind of decision they're making affects you it's something like that here is how that feels for some for others of you i just feel like there's something you're not seeing eye to eye with someone here is basically how this feels okay you have the king of cups uh showing up for what you need to know okay so the king of cups being here you're like you're going to get through this um a lot of you guys you're worried about whether or not you're going to um you know come out on the other side of something it's that kind of energy here i think that's why the chariot showing up is your main energy because like you're trying to have forward movement with something and you keep feeling like there's a block here um but you are going to get through this here some of you you may need to talk to someone if there's a lot going on emotionally ups and downs here uh, you did have the Ace of Cups as your main strength, so there could be a lot of different emotions going on as well because the Ace of Cups, it is a card of like emotions overflowing, but do emotions always feel good? They don't always feel the best, right? Um, not all of them anyway. So you could be having a lot of ups and downs here. It is showing up as your main strength, so I feel like there could be a lot of realizations that come of these up and down energies, Aries. But the King of Cups, it could be a therapist or, you know, just somebody that you can lean on, somebody uh, very supportive, you know, that you can talk to here. So um, that could also be serving as a reminder for some of you who are feeling a little bit alone showing up for your new beginnings you have the page of cups okay so there could definitely be new love coming in or areas you could have a water sign moving towards you but there is an emotional conversation taking place in the remainder of november so get ready for that okay you do have the six of cups showing up for advice all right so um this showing up for advice like they are wanting you to leave something behind here i think that some of you are trying to really resist an ending okay so this doesn't feel like it's in that connection where you're just not seeing eye to eye about something um this feels like it's surrounding those of you who have like there's already an ending that's happened here and you're resisting it you're like well maybe you know things will turn around maybe you know we'll get back together or maybe something will happen here it's like you're remaining very optimistic about something that could be gone it could be over okay so they're wanting you to focus on the new they're wanting you to focus on forward movement because i do feel like there's something amazing ahead for you with all these cards out here especially with that page of cups showing up for new beginnings okay so let's go ahead and look into your love situation let's look at how you are feeling we're looking at you them november outcome those of you who are committed and married will be looking at advice for you then we'll be looking at anything new that might be coming in for all of you okay um in love and then after that i'm going to go through all 12 signs how they're feeling towards you in their november actions so let's look 
Okay, you first, Aries. Let's look at where your energy stands in the remainder of November in this situation with this person here. Ten of Pentacles, okay. Let's look at where their energy is in the remainder of November. Two of Swords, okay. Let's look at the outcome for the remainder of November between the two of you. Hermit. Okay, somebody here could have their moon in Libra, possibly Mercury in Virgo. You could be dealing with the Virgo, your Aries. Those of you committed in relationships, marriages, advice for you guys. Advice for you guys for the remainder of November in love. Five of Pentacles, wow, okay. Um, anything new coming in in love? Anything new coming in in love? Six of Wands, okay. And then we'll, we'll get into the signs after I get into this story here because the signs will be a little bit more specific. I do see an ending coming up for someone here. And if that's for you, then you already know that you're headed in that direction with this person. Like things, like there's something that you just can't go back on. You can't turn back from. Like there's been a betrayal here. Or there's been something big that's taken place. Showing up for how you are feeling towards a person. Like you're feeling very committed, loyal, devoted to putting in the work here. Like you really, really value this connection is how that's, is how you're showing up. Now you have the two of swords. This person's shutting you out. I don't know why they're shutting you out. It seems like there's something external. Um, the two, like, I'm just noticing the twos right here. The two was showing up um, for your challenge, like the two of cups. And then you had um, the two of swords showing up right here for how they're feeling. So it definitely feels like somebody's going through something here. They're trying to shut you out. Um, and it looks like they're, they continue to do that throughout the remainder of November. It's like they continue to push you away. There's something they're dealing with here. Um, so I don't know what this is about. But showing up for those of you who are committed or married, you have the five of pentacles. So, you know, those of you who are in this connection where somebody's shutting you out because there's something that they're going through and there's something that you don't see eye to eye on, they're wanting you to walk with this person, um, you know, with the five of pentacles. Like, don't try to pull this person out of what they're feeling here. Like, it's it's essential to what it is that they're going through for them to feel this, uh, for them to learn that, okay? For others of you where you know that an ending has to take place or you have to surrender to an ending because for most of you that's already happened and you're still committed and devoted to it that's why it's showing up here like you still see this as a commitment or a relationship when it's over here so the five of pentacles i think they're asking you to leave that behind here to put that effort and energy into you um, and then you have the six of wands showing up for new love so i feel like you are getting a lot of attention here all right aries i feel like you're getting a lot of attention i'm getting a lot of pisces and gemini energy here as well so it could be pisces or gemini aries um, also Aquarius, okay? So, um, yeah, I see a lot of attention here for you um, as for new love, okay? You're getting a lot of recognition for something. So let's go ahead and see how each sign is feeling towards you in their November actions. How's Aries feeling towards Aries? And what are their November actions towards Aries? Five of Wands. Yeah, Aries is shutting you out. Like I, I feel like this this could be the person who's showing up here for some of you. Like I feel like there's an Aries who's shutting you out. Like they're feeling resistant uh, for whatever reason here with the Five of Wands. They could be feeling like you're dealing with other people. For those of you where this is like just their random, like relatively new connection, but somebody does. Um, like they're, they're having a lot of conflict here. So I definitely feel that that's their main focus. You have the Queen of Pentacles. Um, this could involve work or money. Here in the remainder of November, I feel like they could be uh, kind of shutting you out due to um, a work or money issue that they're having. Like they're choosing to put their focus on that, okay? For others of you, it's like they're choosing to shut things out here because they're feeling like uh, you, you could be dealing with someone else, okay? Like that Aries is very focused on not looking stupid. Like they feel like they're going to look stupid, like committing to you or being devoted to you. Um, you know, being loyal like during a talking stage or something of that nature. Like they just feel as if you are doing something else here, okay? There's not even been a conversation about it. So I definitely feel that that stems from their past. Okay, how about Taurus? How's the Taurus feeling towards Aries? Taurus November actions. I think the Taurus wants either wants to apologize to you about something or they want you to apologize. They're waiting on you to come forward. They're not doing anything in the remainder of November, Aries. Um, with that Page of Swords, they are watching you. They are observing you, but they're not really doing anything here, okay? How 
pop a Gemini magician. I also feel that for those of you where you've struggled to move on from a person, um, and th this could be the Gemini because this randomly just popped it popped up, you know, whenever I start talking about the Gemini. But um, you know, in the love situation, I feel as if you're moving into a space where um, you're going to be realizing something about a person. You know, as you allow yourself to feel these feelings um, and you know accept the ending of something here, it's like you start to realize things about a person that you never saw before, like things that got on your nerves, things that um, you know, red flags that you missed, you know, signs that you missed or maybe even ignored. You know, um, or other people could be bringing these things to light here, bringing these things to your attention. Uh, because I was really drawn to that hermit, you know, showing up as the outcome, because sometimes the hermit can be a card of uh, introspection. It really is traditionally a card of introspection, but intuitively it looks to me like isolation here between you and this person. So I do feel that for those of you where that's a person you're trying to move on from, um, I feel like you will be able to do that because you're going to be seeing them very differently uh, for some reason here. So that could definitely be a Gemini here for some of you, okay? But you have the magician showing up as how they're feeling towards you. How about the outcome? November actions with the Gemini. Sorry. Seven of the ones. Yeah, there's a blockage here. The Gemini, like the Gemini feels like they can have whatever they want here. Okay. They really do. That magician, they feel like they can have whatever they want with you when they want it. You got the seven of wands as their November action. So uh, Aries, I feel like this Gemini is kind of blocking you out here um, in the remainder of November. You could be blocking the Gemini, but it, it looks like they're blocking you out. Um, they're like, I'll pick that back up when I want it. That's the energy that I feel here from the Gemini. How about the Cancer? How's the Cancer feeling? And Cancer's November actions of those sorts. The Cancer's trying to feed into whatever it is that they think you're playing. I don't really feel like you're playing anything here, Aries, but that's what this looks like to me. One second. You have the Three of Cups showing up for how the Cancer is feeling. They want some kind of like coming together with you. Maybe they even want to date with you. They want some kind of, um, you know, face-to-face -face meeting, like some kind of uh, physical encounter here, but they're not doing anything about it. It's almost like they're waiting for you to make this offer. It's a weird energy here. It's like, are we going to hang out or are we going to meet up? That kind of energy that I feel coming off of the Cancer here. For those of you where you already know this person and have dealt with them, they definitely want some kind of reunion with you. But with that Five of Swords showing up as their actions, it's like they're, somebody's being petty here, okay? There's like a push and pull kind of thing going on. Um, so I don't see a whole lot happening in the remainder of November between you and the Cancer here. Here, all right it looks like they're trying to feed into some kind of game that they've imagined you're playing okay how about the Leo how's the Leo feeling towards Aries and November actions yeah I think the Leo feels like this is moving too slowly they feel like you're a little bit too cautious or you're just a little bit too maybe serious um, I don't know here, Aries, with that Knight of Pentacles, some of you, they just feel like you're too serious. Others of you, they feel like, wow, it's too slow. You know, it's too cautious, that kind of energy here. So I see the Leo turning their back. Like, they feel like it's not, um, you know, it's not really getting anywhere. They're not really getting where they want to go with you. Um, so that's how that feels for the Leo. How about the Virgo? How's the Virgo feeling towards Aries? Five of Wands and actions for the remainder of November. The Five of Wands and the Sun card here, okay? It looks like the Aries might move on to something new here. Or not the Aries, I'm sorry. The Virgo may move on to something new here. Um, they might feel like you they're in competition. Uh, they might feel like you're playing games with the Five of Wands energy. They feel like there's a lot of conflict here, okay? Or they could be dealing with a lot of conflict because the Sun card showing up is their actions. Like... They're, they're trying to have happiness here. They're trying to have peace. They want everything to be out on the table, but they've got the five of wands showing up for how they're feeling towards you. So they feel like there's some conflict between the two of you. Now, this could be external conflict with this Virgo, but mainly it feels like, you know, um, it, it, there could be external conflict going on with this Virgo, but um, it mainly feels as if they're feeling this conflict between you, like you and them, you, Aries. So uh, I, I don't know what's going on with that, but it looks like with the Sun card, they're trying to move towards something new, okay? Uh, they're wanting something that's like easier, it's more out in the open. How about the Libra? How's the Libra feeling towards Aries?
Okay. And actions for the remainder of November towards Aries. Okay. Um, Libra might commit here, Aries. You got the judgment card showing up for how they're feeling. Like they're they're having a big realization here. They're having a big epiphany. So um, I feel like the Libra may actually commit to you in the remainder of November. Okay. How about the Scorpio? How about the Scorpio feelings? How's the Scorpio feeling towards Aries? Ace of Pentacles. Okay. And their November actions. Actions for the remainder of November. Nine of Wands. Scorpio wants some kind of offer from you is how this feels to me with the Ace of Pentacles. They want you to offer something here, okay? Uh, Nine of Wands is like, even if you offer this, they wouldn't trust it. So I don't know what, the, what this is about here. It's like they want you to offer something to them. They feel like you're being too slow to do this. So they already are in a space where they're not trusting it. So I don't know what's going on with that, but they're wanting you to do something. You guys have a lot of energy here, Aries, of people who want you to do things first. Um, which I feel you, you could, you know, actually attract those types of people due to you being, you know, the sign that like likes to take initiative and, you know, take action towards things. Um, due to you being one of those signs, you could attract people who are a little bit more timid and, you know, want you to take the lead in situations. It feels like that's a theme here um, in the remainder of November for you. How about Sagittarius? It doesn't mean that you have to, but um, I feel like maybe if that's something you're not aware of, maybe you attract really timid people. Um, how Sagittarius feeling towards Aries? Maybe go for another fire sign or an air sign, okay? Somebody with heavy fire or air, like operates out of heavy fire or air energy. They don't necessarily have to be a fire or air sign, but somebody who's direct, you know, somebody who's a little bit more bold and initiative, 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 whatever. Um, actions for the remainder of November. Sagittarius actions. Sagittarius, I think, is going to make a decision here as well. Now, whether or not the Sagittarius is going to um, come forward with this choice, it's not clear here yet. Um, but with the world card showing up for how they're feeling, they want to change its status here. Like they want to level up or they want to get your attention. Okay. Uh, with the world card showing up here, they definitely want your attention here. Um, they could want to level up with you for those of you where it's a relatively new connection. Um, you have the lovers showing up for their actions in the remainder of November. So I see them making a decision. Okay. And this is a really serious connection here. You've got two majors showing up. So I feel like the Sagittarius is, is not playing around here. Okay. Um, I think they really want something with you something serious with you so they're deciding on that here in the remainder of november how about the capricorn that's the capricorn feeling towards aries two of wands and november actions actions for the remainder of november seven of pentacles yeah, Capricorn's waiting here you got the two of wands they're leaving the ball in your court or they have left the ball in your court aries they're like well here, here it is. I've said what I need to say, or, you know, um, I'm leaving it up to them. It's that kind of energy with the two of wands. So they feel like they've left the ball in your court Aries, seven of pentacles. I almost feel like they want more out of you. Like they're, they're trying to trigger a reaction out of you. Or they're trying to, um, pull more, more of an emotional response out of you. It's that kind of energy here. It doesn't feel like they're playing a whole lot of games. I feel like they've said what they needed to say. And they're just a little bit disappointed with the return that they're getting here. Um, is how that feels to me, Aries, as far as the Capricorn goes. They're like, well, I said what I needed to say. I left the ball in Aries' core, and this is all they said back. You know, it's that kind of energy here. Um, or this is all they did back. You know, it's something like that. How about the Aquarius? So I see the Capricorn being a little bit disappointed in the remainder of November at the outcome of things. How's the Aquarius feeling towards Aries? And actions in the remainder of November. Wow. Aquarius, I think the Aquarius feels very strongly connected to you. They see you as a life partner. You got the King of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck here. They see you as a life partner. You got the Ace of Swords right here. And it's like they're very clear about what they want with you. You got the Lovers card showing up. They may actually choose to level up here or they may uh, make a decision. They may express they've made a decision here. You know, if you're in a commitment or a relationship with this Aquarius, they may say, you know, um, I want to level up. Like I want to get, you know, I want to get engaged or I want to get married. I want to move in together. Something like like that here um but i do see a leveling up here with an aquarius all right now let's look at the pisces see how the pisces is feeling and what their actions are aries how's the pisces feeling towards aries in the remainder of november how's the pisces feeling 
and what are their actions towards Aries in the remainder of November. The Pisces is getting a little bit greedy with you, I feel, okay? Got the Four of Wands, so they're going to stay committed no matter what, but they're they're trying to pull more and more what they want out of you. I think the Pisces is testing you on some level. Somebody here could have Venus in Aries or Jupiter in Pisces, um, but they, like, they are supporting you, like, they're supportive of you with the Nine of Cups, um, but at the same time, I feel like there are, are ulterior motives to them supporting you, Aries, so I would be very careful with this Pisces, um, they're, they're hard to read, even for me, um, <laughs> and with this Four of Wands showing up, it's like they're going to stay committed, they're going to stick by you no matter what, but they're seeing how far they can go, like, they're, they're definitely testing you here, so Aries, I'm going to go ahead and move this over to Patreon, okay? So, uh, so I can clarify each card. If you all want to join me there, um, the link is going to be down below. But if this is where we part, thank you for watching and supporting me, and you enjoy the rest of your month. Bye.